Now we're flying back to the blue sci-fi carpet in London, where Lisa vowed to boldly go where no one has gone before. The Trekkie nerd. You can settle for less than ordinary life. Or do you feel like you were meant for something better? Something special. Hello, Mr. Pine. God, you really got dressed up. You got on your flip-flops and everything. You're not meant to disclose that on television. This is unbelievable. How are you, Mr. Kerr? I'm having a great time. This is incredible. This is wild. They love you, really. I mean, Not just because you're Captain Kirk, but I think you're a bit of a dead ringer for Mr. Pitt as well. I don't think they have any idea who the f I am. Oh, no, I'm so oh sorry, I'm sorry. I don't think they know who I am. They're smiling, which is always a good sign. You don't want anybody, you know, crying, which happens occasionally. We were talking, and you said that you're not a massive Star Trek fan, but you like it. So when you got the part, were you like jumping up from joy, or were you kind of like, okay, I was I'll more jumping up and down for joy because I'm so excited I got a job, you know, and <laughs> it's so rare that you actually get to work in our business. You, know? you don't have to hustle for work anymore now, no? Yeah, but it's always a hustle. It's de it's definitely not like it was, you know, when I was waiting tables or whatever. But it's, you know, you still have to hustle and do the grind. You're like the first woman on deck and you've got you look made up and you look glamorous oh jesus yes yes thank god we wore really sexy leathery boots but they were not heels because if not i would have been crazy you were really mean and nasty like you were slapping around the gorgeous may i say chris pine all the time i, I don't think that goes down well in my books you know what you know what there's a scene in the movie where he's got these rubber hands he's got these big hands on and when we shot that and we did like 10 takes and progressively each take he got harder and harder and harder with his so he was vicious. So he was, uh, he started it and I just like. Did you make it out here without a sat nav? Without a what? Satellite navigation system. <laughs> yeah, barely. 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 Considering, you, you know, you drive the Starship Enterprise. That's true, that's true. Um, yeah, but somebody else drove me. Uh, it's all a hoax. Anyone that loves Star Trek and knows it is aware it's a little geeky and cheesy. But John Cho reckons that you don't have to know much about the franchise to enjoy the film. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to oversell this, but. Come. Also, there was Trekkie and movie fan slash presenter Jonathan Ross. Huge Trekkie fan. The kids aren't quite as excited as I am yet, but I'm sure they will be because this is going to be great. They love heroes, so they love seeing Zach Quinto in it, who of course is Spock here. Uh, but they're very excited, and, we, and they kind of know Simon Pegg, Uncle Simon. There's a quote saying that uh, you're actually looking too buff at the moment for your wife. That's not true. Cause I'm there, but feel that arm. Go on. Oh, actually, geez, you really are. Yeah, you feel that. You see, yeah. That one, nothing, nothing. No, it's that actually not. Oh. Wait is over.